let's face it, it hasn't been the greatest year for the Ball brothers, with each of them going through their own personal struggles. Lonzo's going under the knife yet again. Lamelo's also sitting on the sidelines for the rest of the season. And Leangelo, well, we all know how hard of a time he's been having. He still hasn't even made it yet. The glory days of the Ball brothers making headlines and stealing the spotlight seem like a distant past. So the big question is, have we already seen the peak of the Ball Brothers? And is this the beginning of the end for the Ball Dynasty? In this action-packed video, we'll explore the Ball Brothers' incredible rise to stardom, each of their ongoing struggles, and now what has to happen for each of them to make it back to relevance. So buckle up and let's dive into the roller coaster ride of the infamous BBB Kids. Let's hit the rewind button and take a quick trip down memory lane. Who were these Ball Brothers, and how did they initially take the basketball world by storm? The Ball Brothers' rise to fame was like a secret sauce recipe, talent, hard work, and a dash of virility. It all started back in their high school days, with video after video popping up line of them dominating, embarrassing, and straight shaming their competition. To further ignite their momentum, we can thank their proud, outspoken father, LeVar Ball who helped turn his sons into basketball sensations by making outlandish claims left and right. I mean, this guy was calling his sons the best players in the world and supposedly better than current NBA superstars like LeBron James, Steph Curry, and Russell Westbrook. The bar was surely set sky high for the Ball brothers and everyone was eager to see how far they could actually go. And frankly, at one point, it looked as if they were indeed about to take their household name all the way to the moon. Lonzo, the eldest, with his incredible court vision and swagger, first led the way by joining the Lakers in 2017 with the second overall pick. After seeing his play in high school and at UCLA, there was definitely a lot of hype surrounding his name coming into the league. Lakers fans even hoped he would be one to take them back to the promised land. Then there's Leangelo, the middle brother and supposedly the best shooter among the three. He was known to be the go-to walking bucket in high school posting video game number stats on the daily. I mean, come on. At one point, this guy was one-upping himself on a nightly basis, scoring 56 points one night and 72 the next. He was at least successful in getting his foot in the door and getting to try out for multiple NBA teams. With his track record for scoring and his knack for knocking down the three, you would think he'd eventually make a team and ride the bench at the very least. Finally, we have LaMelo the youngest yet most promising of the three. After dazzling everyone with his flashy style and jaw-dropping plays, he eventually swooped into the hornet's nest in 2020 and snatched Rookie of the Year award in 2021. And heck, he even made the All-Star team in 2022. So from their high school days at Chino Hills to their individual professional careers in the NBA, the Ball brothers were a force to be reckoned with. And together, they formed a basketball trifecta. Their talent, personalities, an entertaining family dynamic captivated fans for years, and they were even treated as celebrities both on and off the court. In short, they lit up the basketball world, and many thought they'd continue their stardom in the NBA for years to come. However, as quickly as they have rose, it seems as if their fall has been an even faster pace. Let's dive deeper into their current situation and lay out all the unfortunate series of events that led to their recent lows. Not everyone can have a perfect basketball love story. Our beloved Ball brothers are now facing some incredibly challenging hurdles that are keeping them each off the NBA court indefinitely. Lonzo hasn't played an actual NBA game since January 14, 2022. He's undergone two knee surgeries in the past 14 months and is now about to have a third one to obtain a cartilage transplant. And with talks of him potentially missing the entire 23-24 season, the path back to stardom seems bleak. Meanwhile, LaMelo, who's been a rising star with the Charlotte Hornets, has been sidelined for most of this season as well due to a series of unfortunate injuries. This guy's left ankle has been compromised since week one of the 2023 season, and despite managing to come back several times, he was never able to gain any momentum. And now, recently fracturing his right ankle, he's out for the rest of the season. As for LiAngelo, He's still pushing forward in the G League and overseas after getting cut multiple times by NBA teams in recent years. 
it seems like he himself was never able to gain any momentum since his tragic L of getting caught stealing in China way back in college. Still, it appears that he's refusing to give up his NBA dreams. He can't help but admire his determination at the very least. But with all these setbacks, you can't help but wonder how much they can continue to endure. With days turning to months, turning to years off the court and out of the league, it seems like the light at the end of the tunnel is getting dimmer and dimmer. I mean, there's no shortage of NBA players whose careers were also cut short due to a slew of unfortunate injuries. Derek Rose, Yao Ming, Greg Oden, Andrew Bynum, Brandon Roy, just to name a few. And even if these players managed to come back, they were never truly the same. So is the same fate in store for the Ball brothers? Will a new generation of young talent quickly come and overlap them, leaving them in the dust? For Lonzo and LaMelo, a lot of their fate may be dependent partly on the decisions of their respective teams, because you know they also have got to be feeling the heat. The Chicago Bulls had high hopes for deep playoff runs when initially signing Lonzo. They were hoping he could be their defensive ace, their floor spacer, and their on-court leader. He even improved his shooting mechanics and was starting to shoot the three at a more reliable rate. And when he was on the court, he was definitely making an impact. In fact, the Bulls have a 62.8 winning percentage with Lonzo on the court, compared to a sub-500 record without him. With Lonzo, the Bulls even briefly held the top seed in the Eastern Conference. As for the Charlotte Hornets, they're buzzing with concern too. Lamella was definitely becoming their franchise cornerstone, and with his extensive absences, it is leaving a noticeable void in their offense. With him on the sidelines, they lose a player who averaged 15.7 points, 5.9 rebounds, and 6.1 assists per game during his Rookie of the Year campaign. Now that these teams are without some of their biggest investments, the Bulls and Hornets surely have some big decisions to make. Do they continue to wait on them, grind it out, and hope for them to come back to their same level of play, if not better, and continue where they left off? Or do they decide it's not worth the uncertainty and decide that time is money? time is now and do they ultimately decide to change directions and move on from these potential liabilities let's take a look at an ideal situation for each of the ball brothers what exactly has to happen for them to retain their name in the spotlight and if you're liking this video so far be sure to drop a like subscribe and turn that notification bell on for more videos just like this on the players discussion let's start with lonzo let's say he does recover 100 percent from his third knee surgery. He takes all of next year to go through a successful rehab, and in 2024, he comes back with a vengeance. I mean, despite his vulnerable body, he still possesses a unique skill set that can allow him to stand out from his competitors. He still has that court vision, defensive wizardry, that length, and that above average height for a guard. He just needs to maintain his conditioning, his athleticism, his will to win, his improved shooting mechanics. Okay, well, there's a lot. But Lonzo is still only 25 years old, and with the right mindset and support around him, maybe he comes back and reignites his career as well as the ball household name once again, whether it's on the Bulls or another team. But how likely is this? Let's admit it. With his injury history and the Bulls losing patience by the day, it's safe to say that he'll be facing a steep uphill battle from here on out. He may have to ride the bench and prove himself once again to return to the ball we once knew. For LaMelo, it's definitely not as bad, but he still needs to take this offseason to rehab appropriately and maintain his drive. Ankle injuries are no joke, and with his current track record, he needs to make sure he doesn't cut any corners. With his style of play, those ankles need to be resilient as hell when he comes back. If he does everything right, maybe this setback will be nothing but a small bump in the road and what will still be a long, successful NBA career. Look at none other than Steph Curry. He managed to do it and look at where he is now. No reason LaMelo can't do the same. On the flip side, imagine if he comes back and injures his ankle yet again. People may start to grow accustomed to this trend and for the Bulls and Hornets, how patient can they realistically be waiting on a couple of injury prone ball boys? As for Leangelo, well, perhaps he improves his game enough or completely dominates his competition to get noticed by NBA scouts again whether that's overseas or in the G League. Maybe we start seeing so many viral clips again of him just like his high school days that an NBA team decides to give him a longer leash this time. If given the opportunity, he truly needs to capitalize and have a Linsanity moment. If that does indeed happen, hey, 
Maybe we'll see LeVar Ball on the headlines again, this time yabbering, I told you so. But remember, this is all hypothetical and extremely optimistic. And let's be honest, extremely unlikely. What do we hope? We truly hope this isn't the end. It was fun to witness the journey of these three young talents to go from Chino Hills brothers to potential NBA stars, each in their own regard. And hey, with the Ball brothers back in the spotlight, it's safe to assume LeVar will be too. And you have to admit, he did make the NBA a little bit more entertaining. But what do you think? Are we watching the final act of the Ball Brothers saga or just a brief intermission before they bounce back and steal the spotlight once again? Are the never-ending hurdles too much for them to overcome? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to smash that like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe for more. I'll see y'all on the next one.